It's already been a few months since the reveal of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, and a lot of fans are wondering, where is Gohan? Let's discuss the potential future of this character's reveal and what we might see for him in the game. Yeah! Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero speculation and predictions video. I really wanted to focus on a really important character, okay? A character that, for whatever reason, hasn't been teased or shown in this game at all yet. Now, we know this character will be in the game because of how popular he is with the recent movie that came out with Dragon Ball Super Superhero, Gohan. Let's talk about my boy Gohan. I absolutely love this character, definitely in the top five of my personal favorite characters of all time. Uh, he's got so many amazing moments in the series. He is a very, very important main character that this game absolutely needs to expand on, right? Uh, Beast Gohan, y'all already know. Like, that's like the coolest form in recent times, okay? Whether you like it or not, it, it's, it goes hard, right? So let's talk about this, okay? Because what, what's been going on with Gohan? Where Where's my boy at? We go through all the characters. We're two trailers in, okay? And I know that's not a lot, but I mean, you would think he would have been teased at least whenever they were showing all of the characters at the very end of the first trailer. You know, we have Krillin, Yamcha, Piccolo, okay? They showed Piccolo. They showed Trunks, okay? Well, this version of Trunks, okay? We have, I guess, Cell Saga Trunks and Future Trunks, okay? So why why did Gohan get shafted in this trailer? Like, well, where is he at? Is, is bro training? Is bro gonna get some big reveal? Maybe. Now, they said that new trailers will showcase uh, new features, modes, and characters. Let's bring up this this really atrocious edit I made, I know, I'm sorry, it does, it looks very weird, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how Beast Gohan might look in the style of, you know, Sparking Zero. I thought, you know, it would be kind of fun just to make this. I, I love making edits in Photoshop like this. I'm not an artist and I can't draw like, you know, super well or anything, but I can make some, some bootleg ass stuff in Photoshop for you. So here is what Beast Gohan could look like. He's definitely gonna look way better than this shit that I made, this is awful, okay? Now let's talk about Gohan's transformations, what I think he's going to have in the game. I think this is a pretty realistic thing, what most people would create themselves, right? So I know there are some versions or variants of Gohan missing. I don't know if they would be ready to just like show all of that too. Uh, the things that I'm missing on here are obviously future Gohan and I guess the Great Saiyan. Um, Great Saiyan, I, I think he was a separate character slot in the original Sparking series slash Tenkaichi. I think I could be wrong about that. Uh, future Gohan, I don't remember if he was in Tenkaichi 2. He was definitely in Tenkaichi 3. Future Gohan is a kind of in a weird spot. Um, he's obviously, he, you know, he's an official version of Gohan that is very popular. You know, in, in a lot of games, we don't really see him too much. Like we, we had to wait until Xenoverse 2 to get him, right? Which kind of sucked, but I mean, you guys know who's missing, which versions of Gohan are missing. I'm trying to focus on main timeline, main series shit, right? So uh, obviously Kid Gohan, uh, little little Kid Gohan, right? He's he's kind of his own separate slot that they have, uh, you know, having his own different versions. I think up until the uh, end of the Cell Saga, does he get his, one of his most iconic, important versions. When people think of Gohan, they definitely think of this version of him, okay? Um, now, here's the thing that I want to bring up, okay, because people were like, well, we never really saw base Gohan, so that's why they don't really put him in the games. Well, obviously, he was in, you know, the series. We, we've seen what Gohan looks like with his shorter hair, uh, you know, in base form. So, they put that version in the Tenkaichi game, so there's no, there's no excuse, okay? And I, the reason I bring that up, because Xenoverse 2, for whatever reason, okay, Z Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2 they just didn't want to put the base form version of him in. I thought that was stupid, but uh, obviously they'll have Super Saiyan, okay, that can transform into Super Saiyan 2. Major, major transformation. I cannot wait to see the animation of that father-son Kamehameha. It's going to go so, so hard. This game, I'm, it's hype, bro. Like, you're already seeing how good the animations look. Then we move on over to Buu Saga Gohan, okay? Uh, we'll get our base form. We'll get our Super Saiyan. We'll get our Super Saiyan 2 because he does display it. And obviously, let me just point this out because some people don't know this. The difference between generally, not always, because, you know, there's always different artists, you know, doing stuff in Dragon Ball. But um, generally to decipher between which one is base or not base, but Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan 2 with this version of Gohan because it's kind of hard is his bang. Okay, the bang 
will have another little tiny strand that comes comes down under it, okay? I, I'm gonna point that out because I always found that as a very good, interesting trait when it comes to the regular, you know, first version of Super Saiyan with this specific version of Gohan. And then obviously Super Saiyan 2, uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a lot, obviously it's more spiky. It's got the electricity, which is easy to tell, and the bang is just one single strand, okay? It doesn't have that extra little one under it. And then, of course, we got to have Ultimate Gohan. Uh, very, very important. Now, Ultimate Gohan, um, would we be able to transform into it? Again, can't remember if Tenkaichi had it as a transformation or a separate slot. I don't remember. It, I'm, I'm going blank. You know, I play a lot of Xenoverse 2, so... You know, they do this, they added that as an Awoken. I think it would be a transformation. That would make the most sense, especially since they kind of retconned it and it is considered a transformation for him. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens, okay? Now, the new version, okay? New Age Gohan here, right? This is Superhero Gohan, Gohan's DBS variant, okay? I don't know if they would include Super Saiyan 2 because he never showed it. I doubt they would. Um, I think it would just be his base, okay, with the glasses, and I hope when he goes Super Saiyan, he takes off the glasses in the animation. I really hope that's the case. Um, give him his ultimate with the cool animation, and then obviously, I do want him to be able to transform into Beast. I do not want Beast to be a separate slot. We talked about how Ultra Instinct might be a separate slot, but I think just because Ultra Instinct, the way it functions, is so different compared to every other version of Goku, that's why I think it would be a separate slot, but when it comes to Beast Gohan, I just think, okay, it's easily just an extension of Potential Unleashed. And if he's going to have ultimate form within the other transformations that he can, you know, awaken into. Yeah, I think it's it's easy money to have Beast Gohan part of that. Now, if they make it a separate slot, I'm not going to be super, like, upset or, oh, it's the end of the world. Fuck this game. I'm not going to buy it. Boycott this shit. <laughs> and love, people love to boycott whenever they don't get what they want. I mean, that's fine. I understand, you know. Uh, you want you want the game to have cool stuff, and it's like, uh, okay, if Beast Gohan's a separate slot, yeah. I doubt that they would make it a separate slot, though. I doubt it, okay? Because this, you know, this game is coming out, I don't know, within the next year or two, could be, you know, later this year or whatever, um, you know, we're already two years post the movie, right? I think it's time that we get a transforming Beast Gohan in a main console game, okay? Xenoverse 2, I understand they're not going to do it because that's, that's just how they do their weird shit but yeah um i think that's pretty reasonable for every version or every variant of gohan that is part of the main series and stuff that's what i wanted to talk about hopefully um we do get a future trailer that gives gohan you know the the airtime he deserves right i think a separate trailer just specifically for him because he's just he's got so many big iconic moments not saying that trunks doesn't but I just feel like Gohan, he's just so, so important, right? Y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, what you think we'll see for Gohan in the future of this game. I'm so excited to see this, man. Oh, this beast Gohan, it's going to be fire, right? It's going to be absolutely not like this. I pray he doesn't look like this. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. You have an amazing day. Like, subscribe, ring my notification bell. And recommend what other speculation videos you want to see because uh, I got some more cool, fun ones coming your way. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays! Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet! <laughs>